Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Riders. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2018 Tolman Light model 2605 RL. It's a really beautiful floor plan, very very nice floor plan, very popular in the past and it's coming back. A lot of folks like that particular floor plan, they're asking for it and Coleman makes it. Uh, the light uh, series from Coleman is uh, very nice as well. Lots of very interesting features. We're going to go through that together. It is a fiberglass unit. This one is 31 foot 1 inch overall length. That's including the tongue and it weighs 5600 pounds of empty weight. Extremely towable. So let's not waste any time go through some of those features. Uh, the first thing at the front we really notice is the size of the compartment. You get a door on this side, you get another one on the other side. So there's no issues putting that table or the chair in through here. There's also LED light and it's switch. Now talking about the switch, there's another one on the uh, right beside. This one is actually for the uh, uh, ground effect LED lights. Also right beside is the brain for the in-command system. So we're going to talk about that inside. I'm a big fan of that little, little guy here. Also right here in the front, we have a connection for a portable solar panel. Very nice. And our compartment comes with a slam latch handle. Very nice unit, as well as magnetic door holder. Uh, talking about uh, the, uh, the light, we also have electric jacks. All four stabilizer jacks are electric. And there's a, a switch for the front and there's a switch for the back. The underbelly is also enclosed and heated. Very nice feature. On the top, rain gutters with spot extension. We have a second door on this unit that gets into the bedroom from the outside. Uh, new this year, aluminum treads on the steps. It's a two-stepper. We have an electric awning. There's LED lights as well on there. We have a black tank flush here. A power outlets if you want to connect anything outside. Radio tires, nitro field on aluminum wheels. Gas electric water heater. Outside speakers. Your range hood is vented outside. A triple step for the back. Large fold away entry handle. There's a switch for the back jack as well. And uh, on the back wall, we have a spare tire, a detachable power cord, and it's ready to receive a uh, backup camera. On this side, we won't go, but you also get an outside shower with hot and cold, and your valves are color coded for the black and the gray tanks. On the inside, A very old floor plan. They made that floor plan for oh, the longest time, but it sells. Why? Because we're not too long and we have uh, a couple of uh, a nice little barrel chairs to sit on. And you got a big uh, window in the back for the view. And talking about the back, they also put little windows on the side and all three of them open. It's a very nice feature. LED lights and a cabinet above for extra storage. Talking about LED lights, all of the lights inside the trailers are LEDs. So they don't consume any power at all. We have a sofa. It's a jackknife sofa, but also has cup holder. There's storage below. And our booth, same thing. Under the cushions, you got some storage. The light above the dinette is also LED. And they put windows on both hands. It's very nice. Kitchen. A nice little unit. So no seam on the counter. It's a one-piece counter. Outer mounted sink very deep and sink cover and a beautiful resident residential style tap in fact that quality in an RV I haven't seen that yet uh, very impressive cabinet above our appliances are all stainless steel uh, even the light in the range hood is LED they uh, provided a spot for a garbage can our drawers are full extension, the whole drawer comes out, it's plywood made, there's ball bearing hardware. On this side here we have access for a lot more storage, so pots and pans. And right here on the wall we have our in-command system. So our in-command system will control the slide out, the awning, your water heater and all the lights. Anything that has to do with your RV, 12 volt wise, is controlled through here. And it's a pretty nice little unit. It's also, uh, you, can, you can match it to your cell phone. So uh, you can actually control the same thing on your cell phone. Uh, it's great, it's awesome. It doesn't get any better than that. So. Okay, so um, going towards the front, we have 
a very deep pantry. There won't be any issue here for the food. And just above that, Ram FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB auxiliary. And if you decide to put a TV, that's where it's going to be mounted. It's already wired, so if you play a DVD, it's going to play on the TV. Ideally, if you put a mount, you can actually put it flush so you can watch it from the back or even swivel it so you can watch it from the dinette. Pretty nice. A little hallway. I really like. They put an extra cabinet here, so be perfect for the linen. Towels, extra sheets and stuff like that. Our bathroom. Foot flush porcelain toilet. There's towel, uh, towel hooks on the wall. There's a power fan. There's a medicine cabinet. There's a fairly decent sized vanity here. Plenty of storage below. There's even room for a waste bin as well. And I read your shower with a shower enclosure. What I really like, the door stays in, so when you're done with the shower, the water doesn't come on the floor. There's also a skylight. I'm five foot eight. No issues whatsoever. There's definitely uh, room for six foot two or so. And one of the features I like the most is they left enough room on the side of the shower to put a uh, um, a laundry bin. <laughs> you know, you go camping, I mean, you can't wear the same clothes every day for two weeks. There's also a light switch on the wall for the light in the bathroom. There's a pocket door to get directly into your bedroom. So I'm going to let the camera go that way. Now we see that door to go on the outside. I uh, really like the fact that they did not take that shirt closet, make it all the way down. They cut it out and they put a night table, so it's perfect for an alarm clock. Uh, some drawers, so we got another one on the other side as well. Same principle as in the kitchen. Now folks, this is a true 60 by 80 queen size mattress. So, you want to replace it along the way, you can. But, I have to admit, I'm overly surprised at the quality of this mattress. Uh, in the RV, it's never their strong point, but this one is firm. It feels great. Might be too firm for some customers, all you need to do is put a little topper, but it is of great quality. Uh, there's LED lights here as well. Uh, there's a window that opens. There's a spot for TV hookups. And the other thing that I really like, look at how deep that shirt closet is. There's a real bar. There's not going to be any issue with the hanger that you use at home. They will fit. You don't need to buy RV hangers. And last, there's a power and a USB outlet on each side of the bed. There's a, pot, there's a roof vent as well, there's an AC vent, and there's even a heat vent on the floor. Folks, great little trailer, 31 foot, 1 inch overall length, 5,600 pounds of dry weight. It is extremely towable. This will not last in our yard. Uh, if you need more information, please take a moment and do uh, read up the little write-up that I have on our website. And there's a lot more information there. In the meantime, I think we've done it, folks. Thanks for watching.